Hello YouTube, my name is Nick, and today I'll be showing you how to edit HD videos, specifically Call of Duty gameplay, um, using Sony Vegas Pro. I have Vegas Pro 10.0 revision E, I believe, but um, it shouldn't really matter what version of Vegas Pro you have, um, as long as it's not really old. Um, so when you first boot up Vegas, you'll see you get this preview here. It's a 4 to 3 aspect ratio. Um, if you throw in an HD 16 to 9 um, game player, you'll see that uh, you get these black boxes, and that's not at all what you want. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go up here to Project Video Properties, or press Alt plus Enter if you can't find it for some reason. Um, first off, you want to change your resolution to 1280 by 720. And this is standard HD um, 720p. You can do 1080p if you want, but I don't recommend it. Um, it's not going to make things look a whole lot different. Um, field order, you want none. Um, progressive scan because you're doing HD video. Um, pixel aspect ratio, you're going to want is one square. Um, frame rate, you want to keep here at 29.97, which is the national television standard or whatever. Um, this is because I believe YouTube will downgrade... Um, whatever frame rate you have to 30 frames per second so if you do 60 it won't make any difference um, so it's best to just leave it on 29.97 pixel format you can leave um, full render or full resolution rendering quality you want to switch this to best it should be on good by default I think um, de interlace method you're going to want none and um, you can click this start all new projects with these settings if you're um, probably only going to be using HD video. Um, you can do that. You can always change it later if you want, but um, just so you don't have to do this every time. Up here, template. Um, I'm going to call this Call of Duty. Um, yeah, sure. And we can click Apply. OK. And you'll now see we get this um, 16 to 9 black box for the preview. Um, one problem a lot of people have is that they use the Hophog HD PVR and um, it does this. It puts black boxes on the sides here. Um, that doesn't happen with my capture card, but it does happen when I use fraps to record my gameplay. So um, to fix this, you want to go over here, um, Event Pan Crop, and uh, pretty much what you want to do is you want to get rid of the black. So to do this, I recommend you go over here to lock aspect ratio. Um, you want to turn that off. And then you can zoom in a lot and just drag this border over until you have no black there. And then um, I think I have some more on the sides here. So you can zoom in and just a little bit. And now you'll see no black border. Um, I'm going to call this no black border so you don't have to do this every time um, your capture or your HD PVR probably does the same um, black border every time so if you save this you can just go and select from one of these lists um, no black border and it will get rid of your border for you you don't have to do that every time but uh, now you're going to get that full uh, the video is going to be in the full screen but um, the file straight from my card don't do that but you'll see here you get this blurriness and this is because I recorded this in 60 frames per second and the project we set to 30 um, this is easily fixed you right click the video go to properties um, click disable resample and click OK and there you go no longer blurry at all um, you now see throughout the entire thing um, not blurry um, if you're recording your commentary through Vegas, uh, mine usually comes out a lot quieter than the, um, uh, than the gameplay, so I usually turn my gameplay down like 20, uh, and then turn my commentary up to maybe 10 or 12, and then if it's still a little quiet overall, you can, um, up the master volume, which will make the, the, um, overall audio louder. So you can do that. You'll have to 
of course, always preview how your video sounds before you render it. Um, occasionally, I forgot to do that, and I end up with a really uh, loud gameplay. I forgot to turn the gameplay down, and you can't hear me at all. Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you guys a couple of effects that you can use to make your um, games look a little bit better. Uh, some of them won't work all the time, like in, in different maps they look bad, but... Um, okay, so I've got a couple on here. Um, I'm just going to remove these real quick. Okay, it's not going to let me remove them. Get out of here. How do you remove... Oh, there we go. Okay, so what we're going to do here is... I'm going to stop this for a sec. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys a couple of effects that I like to use on my videos. Um, I tend to use three. The first one, color corrector secondary. Um, next, I use saturation adjust. And the third one I use is sharpen. And I'm going to click OK there, add those three effects. Um, color corrector secondary is because um, when you go from your capture device to your computer, you get this little bit of um, change in the color. It kind of looks foggy, um, kind of more gray, I guess. Uh, this is easily fixed. Um, under color corrector secondary, uh, one of the default settings here, studio RGB to computer RGB, and it changes that. I'm just going to turn it off now, so you can see it just kind of makes everything a, a little bit brighter, um, fixes any changes that your capture device will um, add. Next one is saturation adjust, and this one is um, a little interesting because sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't. So um, for this one, I use 0 0.58 there, um, here 0 0.38, this one 0 0.736. These are all less than one, except for this one, which is one. And here, um, we leave that at zero and you can see that pretty much what this does is it takes every color in the map and makes it brighter. Um, so like the red in my ACR is now brighter, the flags are more are now brighter, the, everything is just brighter. And this works well in some situations. You can see me here using the ACR on Afghan and it looks pretty bright here. This doesn't work on all maps because sometimes um, the maps tend to look really orange, so you don't want to be using it on every map. It's kind of up to you. You have to um, uh, turn on the saturation adjustment and see how it looks. If it looks bad, then uh, you can just turn it off and not use it. Okay, so here I'm going to turn it off. and uh, Now you can see it kind of looks gray in comparison to when you have it on. Um, so when you, when you turn it back on, you see the, the red in the gun really pops out. Um, it's a lot brighter when you have the saturation adjustment on, but on some maps it does look a little wrong, but really I, I enjoy having it because you know it makes everything so much more colorful. Um, for sharpen, there's not a whole lot you gotta do. Um, I just turn it to about 0.1, not 0 0.01, 0 0.1, and what this does, if you look down at where it says winning, um, it's a little blurry, but now if I turn it back on, it's no longer blurry. Well, not as blurry. So what it does is just makes everything a little bit sharper and uh, less blurry. So now I guess I'll go into the render settings um, now that I've showed you all that. So um, there's two different ways you can render, or two different ways that I recommend rendering. Um, first one I recommend using Windows Media Video um, V11, which is a WMV, or um, an MP4, which is a main concept, AVC slash AAC. Um, either one works fine. For WMV, um, you can go in here, and I'll just click a random one and do change it to custom. So I'll call this one custom COD. 
um, mode CBR is fine. Um, that's good for audio. I use for audio. I use 192 kilobits per second. Um, 48 kilohertz is fine. Um, video also CBR. WMV9. Um, high definition. I use 720p. Once again, you can go to custom and set it to 1080 if you want, but um, doesn't really do a whole lot. The frame rate you're gonna want on your NTSC um, seconds per keyframe is not really important, and you want to turn up the video smoothness to 100. The bit rate's really where um, it gets kind of questionable. Um, project, you want to go here to best. But um, let's make sure I got everything. Uh, for bitrate, it says internet slash LAN. Um, what you're going to want to do here is test this out. Um, the higher the bitrate, the longer it's going to take to render your video. And uh, the bigger the file is going to be. And that's going to leave a longer upload time. So if you have a really fast, if you have really fast internet and your computer is really fast, then you can use a higher bit rate. Um, but if not, um, you can go with a lower one. I find the minimum you should use is three megabits per second, which would be 3M. Um, the highest I go usually is 12, if I really want something to look really good. Um, I find there's not really a whole lot of difference between three and 12. Um, a good median for me, what I usually use is six um, or nine. Um, so I'm just gonna put it at six what I recommend using um, so you can do that and then um, click save and it will render or you can go up here um, if you want to do mp4 which should have a little bit higher um, compression rate um, this is a custom mp4 I already did um, custom frame size of course uh, 1280 by 720 the profile you want on main otherwise it doesn't work or at least doesn't work for me um, frame rate 30, um, progressive scan of course, pixel aspect ratio is 1, um, variable bit rate doesn't really matter, you can just put them uh, as both the same. Here you can once again choose how big the file you want, how big you want the file to be. Um, you can enter it in yourself I guess if you want. Um, 6 million, oops, gotta do both. Um, Okay, yeah. So the maximum is 6, the average is 6. Audio, you can go over here, 48,000 hertz and 192,000 bits per second. And the project, of course, you want to set to best. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can save, you know, type in whatever you want there and save it for your customs. And then you just have to select that whenever you want. And uh, that's pretty much how you edit HD videos. Um, using Sony Vegas, if you want to do like, um, I don't know, montage effects, you're probably going to have to look somewhere else because I don't really know how to do a whole lot of that stuff. Um, but this is for basic editing of gameplay videos. This should help you out. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try and answer them to the best of my abilities. I hope I was able to help you guys and uh, get you some better looking footage and, you know, Maybe get rid of the black bars for a few people who had that problem. Um, get rid of the black borders for people who had that problem. And uh, show you guys a couple cool effects. And get rid of the, or disable the resample to get rid of the blurriness. And, um, you know, just overall make your videos look better so that um, you have better quality footage for uploading to YouTube. Because people like to watch um, footage that is high quality. Uh, but, you know, HD video is not the only important thing. The quality of the gameplay and the, col the quality of the commentary is also very important. So, anyways, um, I hope I could help. Uh